Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, 2017 brings us yet a second professional big game hunter who has been killed by his prey while on the hunt in Africa. If you saw my video from last month in April, a professional hunter, also a South African, was killed by a crocodile, was eaten by a crocodile. Well, now, just a couple days ago, also in Zimbabwe, also a South African professional big game hunter, and apparently these two guys were friends, they were buddies, they knew each other. Anyway, Tanis Botha was out hunting with a group of several other hunters when they accidentally approached a group of breeding elephants. And what happened next is truly bizarre. This startled group of breeding elephants charged at the hunters. Three of these elephants charged at the hunters. And Botha, I guess trying to defend him and his group, fired off a shot at the elephants. I read through a bunch of articles online and I couldn't find any confirmation if the shot that Botha fired off actually hit an animal or just who's just trying to scare them. But anyway, that apparently didn't work perfectly as planned because a fourth elephant, which they didn't see immediately, came from the side and lifted Botha up. I don't know how he, the elephant singled out Botha, but picked out Botha up off the ground, lifted him off the ground with the elephant's tusk and dropped Botha down onto the ground. Well, at that point, one of his fellow hunters fired a shot upon that elephant, killing it, and the elephant actually collapsed down and crushed Botha to death. The articles did say that Botha was a well-known hunter in Zimbabwe and South Africa and often made trips to recruit wealthy Americans for his trophy hunting expeditions in South Africa. And of course he has a website to attract these wealthy clients and I had a look at it. There are dozens if not hundreds of photos of all the animals that he and his clients kill for their pleasure. And in addition to that, he has a YouTube channel that shows the same thing, but in video rather than just still photos. And a lot of these videos are so gruesome, you have to be 18 years old to view them. And ironically, there are several videos of him on elephant hunting expeditions. I'm always curious to see how people react to stories like this because I know how vegans feel about this, but even before I went vegan, I remember always being repulsed when I saw stories like this about trophy hunting or when I heard about like, you know, a friend's dad who would go on hunting trips. Like, so unnecessary. Like, they can go to supermarkets. It's not a survival situation. It's completely unnecessary and inhumane and barbaric to hunt animals in this day and age. It's completely needless killing. So let's see how people react to this. Well, on OutdoorHub.com in the comments, first comment, I love hearing stuff like this. You know, as, as mean and cold-hearted as that sounds, I can see where people like that are coming from. You know, it's just, you know, these professional hunters cause so much death, um, so many animals killed that, you know, it's kind of a weird retribution to hear something like this, a weird payback. But here's a pro hunter's reaction. There are the breaks. He died tragically, but while enjoying a noble and life-threatening pursuit. Yeah, life-threatening, but how is killing an innocent animal needlessly noble? Well, Shecky replies back, calling him out, saying, there is nothing noble about killing wild and majestic creatures. Animals are sentient beings, not objects for you to kill and collect. And um, this hunter guy replies back saying, hey, <laughs> if it weren't for the trophy hunters, meaning wealthy Americans and Europeans to go to another continent, to other countries that they probably have no business being in, and killing the native animals there, if it weren't for these great noble trophy hunters there would be no there would be no more big game in africa like really so that's why you guys do trophy hunting you guys are all just environmentalists you care about ecology you travel to africa you pay thousands and thousands of dollars to kill animals and bring their heads home and mount them on their on your in your house walls just so you can save the animals that makes no freaking sense it makes no sense it's just a lame justification to make you feel good about doing something that's completely barbaric so if there's any good to come out of these two recent deaths of professional big game hunters well i say well we have two less professional big game hunters out there to attract clients to come over to africa and kill the native african animals so 
You would think that it's a, it'll be a net gain for animals and that there'll be fewer animals killed in the next coming years with these two professionals gone. So I just wish this whole business would just go away. I don't know if it needs to be legislated out or, you know, why do certain wealthy individuals have this need to go to Africa and hunt down the native animals? I just don't get what kind of sick minds people have. So anyway, leave your questions and comments down below. How did you feel? How did you react when you heard this news? Did you feel like that one commenter there that thought it was great news? Is that a proper reaction to have? I know it kind of seems like it's lacking compassion, but is, is you know, since so many animals get killed, is it kind of, um, you know, wrong to kind of cheer for the animal when the animal gets a win once in a while? I don't know. It's a hard and difficult moral question. So comment down below. Help me reason through this as well. If you learned something from this video, if you want to see trophy hunting expeditions like this band, hit like. Send a message out there. Help me get this video seen by more people. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more from me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, guys, don't hunt and keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved.